Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this morning with Jackson and Fred. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Jackson's ability to understand and re respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The praise and motivation and the little correction that we give when we're working with the dogs and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that we need and that is only a little tug and let go on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Jackson and Kendall have been fitted with their very own training equipment and you'll be taught how to use that properly during your follow up training session. Now, Jackson is sitting very nicely at Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for us is healing. Jackson. Healing is proper walking on a leash, and the command is Jackson heal. At this point, Jackson has a job to do, and you see his little tail up and wagging, but he's staying right next to Fred's left leg, and each time that Fred stops his feet, Jackson has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So when you're walking in town, especially during the summer months and it's busy, you want to keep the dogs focused on you and healing next to you nicely and sitting when you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and you use the one word command to stay. The long sit stay when you're practicing at home is for one minute, working up to three minutes. And you can practice this indoors as well as outdoors. And all of these commands can be used in your everyday living situations. When Fred returns back to Jackson, he will walk all the way around him as an additional distraction, returning all the way back around to heel. And everything starts and stops at that heel position. And they take off walking again. Well, Jackson says, I like the walking part. <laughs> and your guys are perfect examples that you can't teach middle-aged dogs new tricks. They've done a fabulous job here at school. The barking has really, really, really improved. Nice sit. Fred's going to leave him in another stay, and the next exercise that we're going to be demonstrating for you is the recall, or the come on command. This is a happy command, so you lighten your tone of voice. Fred's going to use his name and call him in, and he comes right in front and sits. And then he goes back to heel position and back sitting. Nicely done. And they're going to demonstrate that recall exercise again for us. And you hear Fred talking to him and keeping him motivated because we don't want him to think he's in trouble because when you start doing formal obedience with older dogs, a lot of times they look at it as like some kind of punishment. So we want them to be happy about doing it. We want them to be praised and, and motivated to work with you. Fred uses his name and he's going to call him in. And you can see him wait and then he's excited to come in and sit. And he gets a little fat for praise and then he goes back to heel and back sitting. Very nicely done, Jackson. And we're going to be teaching you how to use your commands in your everyday living situations. Sitting and staying at your doors. When you're walking with them that they're, you know, fo focused more on you and not yapping and barking at people or other animals, all of those things. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground, okay. give the one word command to down, and then stay. And your long down stay is for three to five minutes. And again, I would recommend that you practice this right in your living area. You don't have to go outside. You're going to just practice these little commands in and around your home. When Fred returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him, just as he did on the sit stay. Jackson, Jackson should remain lying down until he gets his next command. And there he goes with that little butt wagon. He's so cute. And we've got these golden rods, I call them stringy things, all over the ground, and he gets them in his tail. 
Fred's going to take his open left palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. And this time instead of returning back to him, Fred's going to call him out of it. Good job. And then go back to heel and back sitting. <laughs> he's smiling. And you can see that he's very focused on Fred. Like he wants to do the right thing. And that's what we want to get between you and your dogs. They love you, but we want to establish some respect. Now the last exercise that we're going to demonstrate with Jackson is the down from a distance. So you leave him in a sit-stay. You turn to face your dog. This is the only time that you use your right hand to give the command. And you give him the down command from a distance. That was perfectly done. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Jackson's formal obedience commands. We have so enjoyed having you guys. They're sweet dogs. They've done a great job. They've been a pleasure to take care of. I want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.